Hey, Greg, thanks for taking the time to watch this, man. It's Joseph. Check this out. I asked, uh, I asked a little lady on the computer, like, does ranking on Google increase sales? And she said, every business and website owner dreams of ranking number one on Google. All right. The reasons are clear. Reaching that top spot or even one of the top three spots would mean increased traffic to your site, increased visibility to your site, and the potential for sales to catapult your business ahead of the competition. Unfortunately, high rankings rarely happen by chance, which means they don't happen by chance. Okay, so check it out. What I'm going to talk about are the key elements to ranking organically, okay? Organically, which means not having to pay for ads, right? So one thing to just say, I'm going to go over some of this, like review your website, like this right here. That's a problem. I can't click on your phone number. And that's, that's one of the key elements down here. Number five. Got to add it but anyways click the call you want people to be able to click on this phone number right here because most people are on their cell phones okay and they're, they're not going to take the time to memorize your phone number and then dot no, people don't do that all right they, they want to just tap that number right there and then that that's that also increases conversions okay you want everything to be so easy to get a hold of you, like people don't even have to try, right? But I'm sure, you know, you don't have that problem because you're getting a lot of calls, but this will definitely help. That has nothing to do with, you know, ranking, but it also it has something to do with uh, conversion. So check it out, man. I typed in spray foam insulation Dallas, all right? So you have people paying for ads right you got home advisor up here you got these guys paying for ads and you got angie's list paying for ads there's only two reasons people pay for ads reason number one like angie's list like home advisor they're big companies okay and they got the money to to do that they're, they're probably going on a national campaign advertising for spray foam in every city reason number two is these little guys don't know these key elements right here okay okay so as you know the top 10 businesses all right get 92 percent of the traffic now below the ads you're going to have ads on top and ads at the bottom all right okay in between there is when you get to the real stuff. Now this is called the map pack or your map listings, all right? And below the map listings, you have 10 organics. There's 10 people in here, all right? I mean, even though Home Advisor ain't like a single business, they, they count as one all the way to 10. On Bing, Google and Bing are the top search engines. Then you have Yahoo. On Bing, you have five businesses in the maps and then you have 10 down here it is possible because i've done it and i do it and i'm gonna show you an example of somebody in tyler doing this that you can rank multiple spots in the in the maps and then multiple spots in the or, in the organic listings all right so just to clear this up you want to be in here i know there's a lot of people telling you they're going to get you here i mean um, yada 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 Spray foam insulation is just based off of my location, right? Because I'm down here in Southwest Fort Worth. You know, you said you don't want to even come here, but I mean, shit, money's money, man. Right? West Fort Worth and, and like North Fort Worth, that's where the money's at. Some of it, some parts of it. But anyways, you get what I'm saying. So in Fort Worth, which is like if I type in Fort Worth, the search is going to is gonna switch up. Like it's going to show different businesses. So keep a, keep an eye right down here. We got, we got Rose, Empire, and whoever else right here. It might switch. So Wallace. Wallace came in the game now. Okay. So anyways, man. Let's go over these elements. So element one, we got the map listing. The map listing is what anchors you in the town you desire to rank in. Okay, your map listing is that thing you set up on Google My Business, which is this thing right here. You got to show this baby some love, man. We, 
love like i'm talking about this thing right here is what builds trust with google so we'll just jump in here i got a i got a funnel that it's like a survey that you send to all your customers or your clients and it'll it'll like take them to this spot right here So yeah, you definitely got to show this thing some love because this is what builds trust. Like if, if, you're, if you're using something of Google's, they want you to use this, to like use it, right? So you're going to go in here, optimize everything inside of here, pictures, all that stuff. Okay, pictures are good for this thing. Pictures are good on your website as well, but they're better on here, okay? What's next? Citation. So... Citations go off of your NAP info, name, address, phone number, okay? And then they'll add your website. Reason why they go in that order is because that's the way your NAP, your 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 GMB is. It's name, address, phone number. Okay. See so your website ain't even yeah, it's right here, but it should be also down here. So, anyways. Okay, you get citations from like local business directories, different, you know, social media platforms and whatnot. And they're all, it's your, it's your NAP info. Your, it's your name, address, phone number information. And like, it's listed everywhere all over the internet, okay? You, you want to have more than your competition. That's the key. And Google said, citations and SEO are a key factor to a ranking and improving your, so, your, your search results. Number three, content. Content is the words on your website. They must be authoritative and relevant to searchers. Okay, let's talk about it. Spray phone. What does that mean? They must be authoritative and relevant. Authoritative and relevant. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Mm, I don't even, okay. Wikipedia. I like to use this example right here. Okay, so for Wikipedia, this example is spray foam. Wikipedia ain't at the top, but I can type in film. Wikipedia. I can type in beer. Wikipedia. I can type in all these terms. Like, let's try foam. Wikipedia, but Wikipedia. Usually Wikipedia is on top for like a lot of, a lot of uh, like single word terms because there's a reason for that. Okay. Now, when I said content must be authoritative and relevant to searchers. Now, look, let's look at what Wikipedia is doing. Okay. Wikipedia has a lot of words or content. Okay. So that's why they usually are first for a term because they talk about the topic in depth all right in depth okay keep this in mind so when somebody is searching for spray foam insulation which is you know the the, the topic google is going to provide the 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 business or website with the most authoritative and relevant content on the subject to the searcher, okay? If that makes sense. It's kind of like Wikipedia. If I'm looking for beer or if I'm looking for foam, most of the time Wikipedia pops up first because they go into depth. They talk about the that they talk about that subject matter like really deep. Like they're just all asked like the history of it. They're talking about like formulas you know what I mean? So it's no different than when I can't even see up here, man. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So you have no service. Uh, you have no service tabs, which is a big no, no. It's a big no, no. You need, you need like it says services right here and it just drops down to the services. So like, let's go to another business. They, they, they're boo-boo as well. So anyways, so the reason why these guys are on top is because supposedly they have the most content on the subject of whatever spray foam roof insulation. Okay. So insulation and roofing and see how they're highlighting keywords. They're highlighting keywords 
it's making it's making Google pay attention to this, but you don't want to keep highlighting the same word. You want to mix it up. So, anyways, man. Backlinks. Backlinks are like votes from other sites. Okay. In the past, like back in when I started, uh, backlinks were the major metric for the ranking of a website. A page with a lot of backlinks tends to rank higher on all search engines. Okay. I'm going to sum this up, man, because I know you're busy. I know you're not trying to watch all this crap. I'm just trying to show you one, like, one of the things that I do and I do for my clients so they don't have to keep paying for ads over the long run. Okay, yeah, keep, keep running with me for a year, okay, so I can rank your site in this 7 million uh, people population, in this 7 million population city, right? After that, you won't have to anymore because you'll be in the maps and you'll be in the organic listings. But if they decide to keep running ads, all they're doing is adding gas on a fire because it's just going to keep their occupying space on page one. So here we go. It's going to it's going to tell us how many backlinks you have. I'm going to wrap this up. Check this out. Your website is your vehicle. OK, I don't know why you're saying loading, but it will. Your website is your vehicle. Ranking on page one is the race, all right? So if you're back here somewhere in the race, backlinks are gonna be like the fuel, assuming that you're doing all these other things that I'm telling you about. You're optimizing your map listings, you're getting reviews, you're running citations to them, you're adding content onto your website, yada, yada, yada. And now you're backlinking. Backlinks are gonna be like the fuel. So you got two types of fuel in this race. You're going to have some 87 grade, right? Or you're going to use some jet fuel. The jet fuel is like high quality backlinks, right? And that's what's going to start pushing you up and letting, making you catch up in this race. Now, keep in mind, not all backlinks are the same. You got jet fuel and then you got, you know, you know, your regular 87. So some of your, your competitors might have, you know, 2,000. And then some people might have a hundred, but yet the guy with the least might be on top. It's because the guy with the two thousand has spammy backlinks. You see how many you got three. Okay. I'm not trying to get all geeky and shit on you, but that's 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 definitely a key element right there, these links. Alright, so uh hopefully this was kind of informative. But this is just what I do and this is stuff that people don't know. And if they did know, they wouldn't be running ads for like years and years and years. Even though it's 100% deductible, it really is. So, all right, thanks. Wait a minute. I was going to show you Tyler. I thought you was out of Tyler. It says spring, like spring or something. But check this out, man. There's a guy in here. I told you you could take up multiple spots. And I never make screencasts this long, man. It's just like five minutes. But check it out, man. Uh, Who's the guy? It's Etsy. Okay, like, see how he takes up? This is real estate, believe it or not, man. Page one is real estate. People will pay to be on this front page because there's a lot of... This This is real estate, okay? So whenever you're taking up multiple spots in real estate, on this real estate, it's worth a lot, okay? So this guy's taking up two spots. He's not at the top of the organics, but he is in the maps, okay? And he got two spots down here. So. I'm going to show you an example of somebody. So drywall installation, drywall installation, Fort Worth. Look down here in the corner. I don't know if you're on the computer or not, but look down here in the corner. You're going to see the web, the URL. It says FT Fort Worth Drywall Solutions. Fort Worth Drywall Solutions. Look in the corner, Fort Worth Drywall Solutions. Look right here, Fort Worth Drywall Solutions. It's possible, dog. It's possible.